Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular problem, we're going to look at a scale drawing. So here we have a living room. And this is in a particular scale. Of course, the scale is 1 inch is equal to 7 feet. And uh, scale drawing problems are pretty typical in like middle school math and high school math. And this is a real easy problem. So hopefully you have no trouble figuring it out. But basically here is our scale drawing. Uh, we have this living room that is two inches by four inches. And what we want to do is find the actual area of the living room given the scale with that one inch is equal to seven feet. So if you can figure this problem out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then of course, we're gonna walk through this step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. So here is our lovely living room, right? So the drawing, okay, let's say it was on a piece of paper. Let's say the actual dimensions here, this is two inches and this is four inches because obviously we need to use a scale if we're trying to, you know, write, you know, draw little architectural pictures or anything else. We can't put the actual, uh, the real dimensions on a piece of paper. Can you imagine that? If you had a piece of paper that was pretty, you know, you would you need a pretty big piece of paper. Nobody wants to carry around a big piece of paper like that. We have enough paper uh, going on in our uh, life, so we need to use a scale. So we're going to scale things down. And in this particular scale, uh, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be told somewhere on a scale drawing what is the scale. So that's the first thing you need to do is, okay, what's the units of measure that we're dealing with? Uh, if you didn't know these little two um, uh, uh, deals here, right, like a uh, quote symbol, okay, or not, this is an apostrophe, that would be like a quote. These little two lines like that indicate inches. Two feet, I didn't want to confuse you, would be that, right? So that's two feet. This is two inches. All right, so hopefully you're familiar with that notation, just in case you're confused. All right, so we have, this is two inches. So uh, we're told that one inch is equal to seven feet. Now, of course, we're gonna do this notation this way. We don't wanna go one inch is equal to seven feet, although we could do it that way. It's just, you know, it could be a little bit uh, confusing when you're writing the scale out. All right, so. When you're dealing with scale drawings, look somewhere on the uh, actual uh, drawing itself and you'll find a scale. It's typically like at the very bottom or the very top or off to the side. And there might even be like a little uh, box around it, something like that. Okay, so the actual little uh, picture of our living room is two inches by four inches. We know what our scale is. Now we want to uh, figure out what the actual area is. So we're going to have to uh, uh, convert or figure out what the actual dimensions of the length and width uh, are here of this uh, living room using the scale. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so again, this is pretty easy stuff, at least for this particular problem. So if our width is two inches, okay, we know that one inch is seven feet. And I take another inch, that's going to be 7 plus 7, so that's 14 feet. Okay, so hopefully all of you out there don't have any uh, problem with that. 2 inches is equal to 14 feet. Okay, how about 4 inches? Well, if 1 inch is 7 feet, if I multiply uh, this by 4 and this by 4, we can see that 4 inches, this gives me 4 inches, is going to be 7 times 4, or 28 feet. Okay, so our actual dimensions of our living room is 20 feet by 14 feet. Now, this is what we need to calculate the actual area. Okay, so I'll get to that in just one second. But I uh, what I really want to do here is talk about um, how to use a scale, okay, like on a scale drawing. So this is a very, very easy problem. But let's suppose you didn't know, okay, that really when you're talking about scale drawings, kind of the um, thing that uh, math textbooks and math teachers want to really make sure you understand is ratios and ratios and proportions, okay? That's really what we're talking about. So let's just kind of uh, look at this uh, problem right here. So we're told that the scale is one inch is equal to seven feet. So let's suppose we think of this question, four inches is equal to how many feet? So let's suppose we're trying to figure that out. Obviously, you know, we could just multiply both sides here by four, but really what you want to be doing is thinking about a uh, ratio, okay? A ratio and proportion. 
So our scale we can express as a ratio, which is a fraction, all right? So we can say one inch is to seven feet, all right? That's what we could say in a scale. So when a scale is given, a scale, um, uh, you know, equivalency, like one inch is equal to seven feet, you can express this as a ratio. One inch is to seven feet, all right? This is really, really important. So uh, the reason why you want to be able to do this is because you, because you can set up a proportion, all right? So again, one inch is equal to seven feet. Now, when we look at this ratio, notice that in the numerator up here is inches, okay? And down here in the denominator is feet, okay? So when you're constructing a proportion, which is two equal fractions, you wanna make sure your numerator is in inches and your denominator is in feet, okay? So if one inch is uh, to seven feet, well, that would be equal to four inches is to how many feet, right? X feet, that's what we're looking for, all right? So one inch to seven feet is equal to four inches to how many feet? So we're trying to figure out the proportion one over seven is equal to four over X. Now, if you're struggling a bit with this math, you're like, oh, I'm a little bit confused about ratios and proportions. I'm gonna strongly encourage you to check out like my pre-algebra course or my algebra one course. But we're trying to figure out the ratio one over seven is equal to four over, uh, this is a proportion, excuse me. One over seven is equal to four over X. So here is this proportion right here. And the way you solve proportions is by using the cross product. So one times X is X and seven times four is 28, so X is equal to 28. So four inches is to 28 feet, feet given this uh, scale or this um, uh, proportion right there, right? One uh, or this um, uh, conversion factor. There's a lot of different ways to kind of describe this or this scale, one inches to seven feet. Okay, so that's really the main idea is to make sure you can get these, uh, take a scale and get these dimensions, all right? And this particular problem, you know, most people could just look at the figure and be like, oh yeah, four inches is every inch is seven feet, seven times four, da, da, da. But I gotta make this problem much more interesting, much more challenging, but that's not the idea of this video. This is kind of just a basic introduction to scale drawings. All right, so now that we know that our living room is 14 feet by 28 feet, all we need to do is to find the area of our living room. And notice, by the way, okay, the problem doesn't say that our living room is rectangular. That's not a trivial little, um, uh, you know, side detail. But if we look at our figure, we have these little corner boxes right there. So that means that this is a rectangle, okay? So now we need to know what the area of a rectangle is. The area of a rectangle is length times the width. So what is the length? Well, 28 feet. What is the width? That's 14. So 28 times 14 is 392. Now. This is feet, so mathematically speaking, if you just wanna see why we get feet squared, this is 28 feet, this is 14 feet, so it's gonna be 28 times 14, that's of course 392, and then feet times feet gives us our feet squared, okay? Of course, when you're dealing with units of measure, right, let's just kind of do this, when you're dealing with distance, okay, you might be dealing with feet, okay? When you're dealing with area, something like this, you're dealing with feet squared or units of measured squared. And when you're dealing with volume, you're dealing with what? Well, you're dealing with units of measured cubed, okay, like feet cubed. Okay, so hopefully you found this uh, little video interesting and uh, you definitely see these type of problems in like pre-algebra, middle school math, you know, high school math, you definitely run into a scale drawing problem. But again, this is just another type of problem for you to practice your knowledge of uh, ratios, rates, and proportions, which is a huge topic in mathematics, one that you definitely need to know. Okay, so if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.